Hi, it's Scott, and I wanted to go over a quick view at Asana and our four teams and what's underneath each one. So from a high level, we have four teams, hashtag hobby tax, HT management, HT clients, HT HR. Hoppy tax is the, the blood and soul. It's where we have our manifesto, um, which is our values and beliefs. We also put in the project colors that we use uh, so and have some other knowledge docs, including Asana hacks. Uh, meet the team is a really fun spot because it's where we try to humanize uh, each other a little bit more. <laughs> and it sounds kind of weird that you have to humanize yourself, but when you're a remote team, uh, this piece is essential so that we can see, okay, every team member, when they first start, they get an onboarding template project and this is part of it that way we know some stuff about the person we can always see a picture of them got to have their name uh, a saying that they like where they're from their the what time zone they're in and their birth date standard operating procedures are an absolutely essential piece for us uh, because this is the, the all the rules and how we do the steps of the procedures that we do uh, that way anyone that's coming in can see, okay, this is how it's done. And they can also, anyone can have the opportunity to optimize the processes. So we have a few essential items here, uh, creating a new SOP, changing one, reviewing, etc., etc. Some of this is under creation because we're still building it. Um, let's move on to management. So management's a really good spot because it allows us to slice and dice our projects and when I say projects I kind of mean like Asana does team names and then projects like a team's HT management a project's HT sales but we use the terminology projects when we're talking about like a client engagement but those actual client engagements are tasks so we have a projects project that lists out everything other than recurring accounting and tax engagements. So we have a, things that we identify throughout the year uh, that are active with our clients and we have some that are not active uh, because we haven't got the green light yet or it's not time. Uh, we have a queue for things that are coming up like right now we're at Q2 as I, as I make this. However, we also have Q3 coming up so that's scheduled. And then we do a dump of miscellaneous assignments for people to self-assign. So if there's capacity and work, they can come here, find the task, assign it to themselves and date it. And then we keep a list of taxis and improvements. Um, but as we, we go beyond that, let's look at taxes. So you'll notice that projects is gold, taxes is orange. So all these active projects where you see orange HT tax, that tells you that it's a tax project that's active. Any that's green is an accounting project that is active. So if we go to the taxes folder, we see the same active projects that are also linked to gold and to HD projects. However, we also have returns. And we don't include returns under projects because it would just make the projects uh, project far too busy with a bunch of recurring tasks. So we leave those just in accounting and in taxes. Another way that we slice and dice the returns so that we can manage the projects from a different view is a board view. And when we have this, it's just a task for a client's tax return. And as we go through the stages, which in this case we have PVC need it, uh, which is, um, Documentation we need to do the tax return. PVC represents provided by client. Uh, PVC in, but we haven't started the return. Work in progress, work papers, which is the building the return. And then tax return input, which goes into our tax software, review one, review two. And then we deliver and file the return. Potentially we extend it. Uh, this, since we're outside of tax season, this list is a lot smaller because we checked everything off. But what's important to notice about this is the things that we're seeing on the board are linked to multiple projects. So they're linked to the client's uh, project that I'll show you next, as well as to the HT taxes, 
and it's categorized under returns recurring. So what we're able to do is see the same task in a, under a bunch of different projects, a bunch of different views, yet any updates that are made to one are ma made to update it to all the tasks. So it keeps everything on the same page. <coughs> Something that's outside of the scope of this video is we also link a lot of this information into Slack so the teams are updated instantly. So let's check out uh, the client list and I'll show you Let's look at one briefly to get an idea of how we break this out. There, it's broken down into three sections, background, accounting, and tax work. Um, notice everything here is linked somewhere else. And this gives us another view. So when we're under HT management, we're able to see views of tax work, accounting work, all open projects. From the client view, under HT clients, we can see all the work that's specific to just a client. Not the type of work, but all the work. As well as we do a background a hashtag team, and then the name, and that matches Slack. And inside of there, we have all the background information we have on the client, as well as um, notes about the client. So anyone that's gonna be new to an engagement can look at their client, see all the active projects, see projects that have been done, projects that are completed, uh, notes that were that are made on the, the client so that they have a good idea of what's going on. So we don't have to click into every single client individually to see their background notes. We also do a client's consolidated list and all that is is the background information underneath each one of the clients and you can quickly go through and see the notes on them. Uh, again, it's just another view to cut the, the information. And then HT HR is our human resources and really this is a template holder for when we are doing one-on-ones with each other so for instance here's the the template that's broken out we talk and set goals and we can leave that in here uh, we have items that we revisit later standing topics ice box uh, timesheet if it's required um, and then discuss this week oftentimes the things that we fill in to discuss this week are actually linked tasks from other projects like you're working on a tax return and you have an issue with the work papers and you need to request something from the client but you want to run it by me first it's not urgent so instead of pinging me or distracting me or needing to talk about it right away we add it to our discuss this week and then when we go into our one-on-one -on -one call we can talk about that item because we have both of our attention and it's scheduled this is really helpful and uh, a really good tool that we use. Um, onboarding template. I won't open up right now the firing one, which is not very nicely said, but firing is just a way to make sure that we turn everything off that needs to be turned off as well as everything that we expect to have turned in has been turned in. And then there's a template for this agenda, which you can see I can make a quick update. Goals, one or two max. We limit the goals because the list can get too long too fast. And this is a quick run through our four teams and sub projects to give you an idea of how we're using Asana here. Uh, this will supplement the blog post and the guide. We'll always keep the guide uh, out there for your reference and also as up to date as possible with tips and tricks. So make sure you review, view, review that, and then with any questions, talk to me or anyone else on the team on Slack, and we'll be glad to help you out. All right, thanks for listening. Bye-bye.